Hello, welcome everyone on this ESL wire tutorial for AVA. Today I'm going to teach you how to add AVA to wire as this can become a hassle from now and then. So we are going to do the complete process from downloading ESL wire to adding the game and to eventually even testing it. So first of all, the first thing that you have to do is download ESL wire. So if you go to the ESL website, which is go to play.eslgaming.com slash Alliance of Valiant Arms. I already have that saved, so that's easy. If you want to download the wire, you just go to any cup. Well, today, the Tuesday Demolition Cup is busy. You go to Rules, and if you check the rules, you already have a simple tutorial on how to do it, and also a link where to download wire. So you download wire, and then you can download the ESL Anti Cheat right here. You accept the privacy terms and you download ESL Wire. It pops up here. There you go. Install it. It'll take a bit. It's probably just not showing anywhere now. There it is. All right. So you go install just a small program so it doesn't take long to install English of course accept the agreements accept the privacy statement and yeah, you can just do an express setup you don't have to put it in a separate map you can just go and install it and there is ESL wire already you wait with launching the ESL wire because there's one thing that is really important to do straight away. You right click it, go to properties, and you go to compatibility, and you tick this option run this program as administrator. You apply the settings, press OK, and now it will always run as an administrator. So now start up ESL or we'll run as administrator so you won't get any issues whatsoever and then you log into the ESL wire. There we go. So as you can see in the play section, the game is currently not added for me, so I have to add it manually. How do you do it? Well, you press add game, add a game manually, and you go search for Alliance of Valiant Arms. There it is. And you press next. Now you have to select the launcher. Uh, I'm just first going to show you how that works for Steam. Uh, I have it installed on both, so that works. So if you go to Steam, let's see, so Steam, that is Steam Apps, Common, AVA, and there is the NWZ Launcher, that's for Steam. For regular install, go to C, Era Games, AVA, and the NWZ Launcher, which is the one I'll pick. You press NWZ Launcher, you go Next, and it will start detecting the keys, and it has found one. That's what you get if you run it as administrator. If you don't run it as administrator, you won't get any keys here, and you will run into issues. So you press Next. The game will now be launched. OK. There it appears, and you go Log In. And you just wait for the game to start. Now AVA will appear. Uh, 
Okay, so if he is in there, basically you just have to wait a little bit, about 10 seconds, or go inside the game, and then leave it straight away to make sure that the keys will be added. I just wait about 10 to 15 seconds, and then I will just close the game manually. Make sure to not click the X, but go back, exit game, and confirm. Now you'll see a lot of processes will be added and instead of selecting the NWZ launcher you go for AVA.exe you press done and AVA has been added to your ESL wire. So there we go. That is the AVA tutorial for ESL wire. I hope this helps for you and will not make you run into issues when adding the game and playing tournaments in AVA. So good luck and we'll see you next time.